Why am I whispering? This isn't an ASMR channel. Sorry about that. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all missed me because I missed you. I have been kind of thinking for a while, like what should I post about? And then one idea kind of clicked into my head. I feel like I always have to like plan and script and write out things because I'm not really very good at thinking about what to do next and I'm not really much of an entertainment kind of person but I'm trying to get to a place where I feel most comfortable filming YouTube so I'm still kind of trying my best to do what I need to do. So I was cleaning out my mirror closet just recently and one thing that I kind of saw in my mirror closet was wow I have a lot of chokers don't I? I'm not currently wearing one right now, you will always see me wearing a choker in all of my videos that I do because I'm just, I, I just don't like showing my entire neck because I don't like the way it looks and I like to cover it up sometimes. Besides that, I have been thinking about maybe I should do a collection video on all of the chokers that I have because I do have a lot. I mean, I don't have like a million, but I do have like a lot and I will definitely be getting more and when I do get more, I might do an update video on this and be like, your choker collection one year later update to show that I have not 10, but 50 maybe. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to get to the, I'm trying to think about what to do next. I like to plan before I do, you know? Now, just a quick heads up before I begin further, I want to tell you all right now that only 10% of my viewers are subscribed to my channel, which I mean, I'm not forcing you or pressuring you to subscribe or anything, but I mean, I would appreciate it if I did reach at least 5k and then by the end of the summer, I want to try to get to at least 10k because I will be posting a lot in the summer and I hope you guys do kind of keep track of me because I'm still trying to grow on this YouTube pyramid right here. I don't want to get to a million, I just want to get to 5 to 10k. For now and then maybe i'll reach 20k by the end of the year hopefully if you guys do want to stick around then you could follow the rest of my social media which is linked in my bio on youtube so with that being said i will get right onto the video and i will show you my choker collection i will also be putting a link in the description for maybe each of these chokers. I'm gonna try. I didn't script this beforehand, but I'm going to try to find the link to these chokers down below. And if I can't, then I'm, I'm sorry. I just couldn't find it. But I hope you guys do enjoy this video and let's get started. First, I'm gonna go from my newest chokers that I bought way down and I'm gonna save the best for last. My favorite choker will be for last. The one choker that I've had for almost two years now that I love so much. So I will show you guys that right now. Also, if you guys do hear some background noise, those are just construction workers outside this neighborhood that I live in. Lots of new houses are getting built recently, so you guys are gonna hear some background noises. I can't really get rid of it. All I can do is try to find the most soundproof room in my house. And unfortunately, it's not this room, so I'm sorry. So one of the newest chokers that I just got recently is this leather or not leather, sorry. It's velvet, it's very bendy, and it does come with a hook that you have to adjust in the rings. It's not like one of those click-ons or zip-ons, it's a hook. And I didn't exactly know where I got this. I don't actually think I got this from anywhere. I think my sister just gave this to me. It also comes with this little extra appendage right here. I don't know if you guys can see it very well, but it comes with a triangle that hangs down in the middle. So if you guys see right now, it does come with an extra appendage. I, I like to call it an appendage, I know that's not what it is. So like I said before, it comes with this little appendage right here. If I'm looking behind my camera the whole time, it's because I have a mirror like right behind it, so I'm just staring at the mirror and not at the camera. I need to focus on you guys, so I'm sorry if my eyes avert back here, but I'm trying to focus on you guys. But I do like this choker overall because it's actually the most natural looking one out of all of them. And when I say natural, I mean like it can go good with almost any outfit really. It's not leather, so it's easy to turn your head in because leather chokers are a real pain sometimes, which 
I can deal with them, but sometimes I just prefer not to wear them. I'd have to get it an 8 out of 10. The only thing I don't like about it is I don't like the hook-ons because they can break very, very easily. So yeah, but anyway, I'll move on to the next one. Now, next choker I want to show you guys before moving on to the other two who are also in this pack is this choker that I got from Amazon. It actually came in a bundle pack. This is a studded cross. It actually functions as a button-up. Now, the biggest ick that I have with the button-up chokers is that I can't really like adjust the size. The only way I can adjust the sizing of this choker is by wrapping it up like a bow and then buttoning it to make it fit my neck because my neck is pretty thin. Right here, if you guys see, if I go to like the smallest section of the button-up, it doesn't fit me at all. So I have to turn it around and then I wrap it up like this. And then I have to click it in place and it's a total pain. There, now it fits me. And it is comfortable overall. It doesn't hurt or anything. It's very, very smooth leather. It also can get damaged pretty easily. So I do have to keep in mind when I wear this thing. I don't really wear this much because like I said before, it's, I don't like to show off a religion symbol, especially in the time that we live in right now. I like how soft the leather is. I like the studs, but I don't like the sizing of it. So I'd have to give this probably a five out of 10, only because it doesn't fit me very well. But I mean, that's not really a problem with the choker. It's the problem with my neck. So yeah, sorry. But, I mean, I hope you guys do like this. I like it. I just don't like that it can't fit me much. And I have to take extra measures to make sure that it does. Which involves possibly damaging it if I tie it too much. I have a feeling it's just gonna snap and break at any moment. So, I try my best not to wear this thing too much. But, anyway, I'll get on to the next choker now. So, this next choker I want to show you right here. It looks like the sun. I just like to call it a sun choker. Now, with this choker, it is just like the Christian cross, apparently. It doesn't fit me all the way, so I do have to tie this thing back as well. If you look kind of up close at it, you can see that it's kind of bent. It's wearing out because it's not meant to be tied together. The leather that this was made of is not meant to take real abuse. I don't know if this is like vegan leather or cow leather, I don't know, but it depends on the type that it is. I imagine that it's not supposed to bend either way. I do like this one though, cause I mean, it's a sun. Who doesn't love the sun? Uh, I will put this on for you guys right now. Like I said before, it's just like the Christian cross I showed you guys and I will show you guys how it looks on me. This choker is probably like more comfortable than the cross though because it doesn't have the little studs on the end and I also do have to tie it as well and it's not meant to be tied so it makes me nervous every single time I do this but yeah you click it in place basically it's just like a button up congratulations you buttoned up your choker now I like this one more because it's got like a natural look it doesn't really stick out much except for the shards in the sun. I imagine if you like remove the shards it would just look like a bell and it would be kind of a lazy design but if I could design chokers I would absolutely love to. I would like design my own choker right now if I could but I really do enjoy this one because it's got that nature it's got that summertime nature feel even though I don't like the outdoors and I really hope you guys do like this too. Like I said before, the leather is very, very soft. It's very stretchy. The leather is very, very soft, but I do have to tie it back. So just like the cross one, I'm gonna give this a five out of 10, but I still hope you guys do like it because I do too. Now, the chokers that I wanna show you from Hot Topic are a lot more extreme. Hopefully I can wear them without possibly breaking my neck. So let's get on with it. Now, the bag that I put these in, pretty small. There's, It's just filled with chokers. It's all full, filled with chokers. I'm gonna go with the most natural one first because I'm just looking in the bag right now and I noticed that there's a natural looking choker in here that doesn't look extreme. So I'll put that one on first and then I'll get to the extreme ones later. So this choker right here, it just says cry baby. It's pretty simple looking. It's got the, what I really like, I think you guys already saw it, but it's got the water running down effects on the 
letters right here, which I really do enjoy. This is a hook on choker, which I don't really enjoy, but I'm gonna try to give this thing a chance and I hope you guys do like it because, I mean, I like the way this thing looks, but I am having doubts right now. <laughs> I'm gonna break my nail and oh would you look at that so now I'm looking at it in the mirror and I just noticed the biggest ick I have about this is that it doesn't fit very well but I mean I guess it's supposed to be like loose and everything I can't tie it back because it's not one of those button-ons so I mean I do like it overall I do like the crybaby lettering I do like the water running down on the letters. I hope you guys do like it too. This is probably not meant to be a Hot Topic choker because it's not very extreme. It just looks really nice. I know there are more extreme chokers at Spencer's, but I haven't gone there in a while, but I may do a Spencer's shopping vlog or something like that soon on my birthday because that's the one time of the year I can be spoiled without a budget, so that's what I'm doing. Overall, I do hope you guys like this choker. I like it too. I'd have to give it probably a 7 out of 10 because if the letter designs didn't look super cool, I would just give this like a 5 out of 10 like the others, but this is definitely a 7 out of 10 because I just like the way it feels. It is comfortable despite the fact that there's metal on the backs, but it still feels good nonetheless, so I do like this choker and I hope you guys do too. Alright, the next choker I'm showing you guys is this red heartthrob. I call it a heartthrob. I mean, because it's got a heart on it. Go figure. It has spikes that hang out at the end, which are not sharp at all. These spikes are very, very dull and smooth. And it's also incredibly lightweight. It doesn't even feel heavy at all. I don't like the sounds that it makes when it clicks together like that but I do like the red heart. The heart is red, you probably can't see it from this angle because my entire room right now is red themed. It looks orange, but this is red. I don't know, I'm just doing a Hot Topic choker collection when I get into a spooky atmosphere, <laughs> even though it's kind of gonna ruin the lighting when I edit this video later, but I mean, I hope you guys still do like the lighting because I do too, but I do like this choker overall because it the leather is extremely soft and this isn't a button down or a hook on. This is actually a belt strap. It comes with multiple little holes and a belt strap like I showed you before. You can basically adjust this to any sizing, which I enjoy because my neck can't fit in a lot of chokers. I do like this choker a lot. It's very, very soft. It's very, gosh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not comfortable, but it's, it's like, it's not comfortable. I mean, it, it is very, very comfortable, but that's not the word that I'm looking for. It's something else. My dictionary is not very good. I can't figure out what to say now. The one ick that I have about this choker though, is that it, it's, it's really big. It's really big and it's just big. If I did have to rate this choker, I'd probably give it like a seven out of 10 as well, only because it's too extreme. It's comfortable, but it's too extreme. Like, it, it's it's too much. All right, next choker I wanna show you. It is just like the heartthrob choker, except it has crosses. Again, religion symbol. Crosses and little chains hanging from the bottom. And it also does come with a belt strap. Now, you can see it's kind of wearing down because I've worn this choker a lot. It feels really smooth. Like, the front part is made of leather and the back, where your skin is supposed to be in contact, is made of velvet, which, I guess adds a layer of comfort when you're wearing this and you can also turn your head very easily. <sighs> They're still making noise outside. I can hear it. I'm getting annoyed right now. So this choker actually fits me very perfectly because it has the belt adjustment, which I really like. I mean, the only chokers that I'll really ever mess around with are the button-ups and the belt adjustments. I feel like I could sleep in this. I mean, I mean, I don't want to. Don't sleep in your chokers. It's not good for you. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Just, yeah, I like this choker. That's all I have to say. Oh god. Okay. This is probably the most ridiculous choker I've ever bought. I don't even know why I got this thing, I guess. 
I guess I just got it because I was going through an emo phase, but I'm kind of not in an emo phase anymore. Yeah, this right here is a choker that I actually got from Hot Topic about a year ago. I don't even know why I got this. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. I do like the three rings that hang down on the sides. I don't like how thick it is and I don't like the spikes. I don't even know why I got this thing. This choker is really thick. It's really uncomfortable. It's hard to turn your head in. It feels like a neck brace. You can't turn your head in this. You can't even bend your neck or anything. It, it's, it's stupid. It's ridiculous. I'm gonna show you guys right now. This thing is so stupid. Okay, you guys are never gonna see me wear this thing again. Okay, okay. So this choker right here is the most ridiculous, most WTF thing I've ever bought. In. I've ever bought, in, bought, whatever. Can't even bend my neck without possibly jabbing myself on the spikes. And the spikes are not dull. These spikes are actually sharp, which is a safety hazard because if you actually do hit your hand on these, it could really mess you up. So, yeah. I don't know why I got this. I might just give this away. I have like five emo friends who would love to wear this, so I might give this away to one of them. Looking on the negative sides, I've just said everything negative. The positive side about this is there is none. There's nothing positive about this choker. I hate it. It's really thick. It's hard to breathe in. You can't turn your neck. You can't even bend your head. And the spikes will, and the spikes will pierce skin. I, I promise, it, it will, it will mess you up. So I hate this thing in general. I'm taking it off now. So that choker right there was definitely a zero out of 10. I wish I could go lower and say negative 100, but I don't want to. I just want to say zero out of 10. I hate that thing. It's the worst. Yeah, I hate it. But I mean, I don't know. I guess. The red heartthrob and the cross belt choker, I didn't make a rating on that yet. I forgot to, but I would have to say that those are 8 out of 10s because I do like how they feel, but I mean, I don't know. After everything, I'm going to go on to my favorite choker, the one choker that you guys are going to see me wearing a lot in my videos right now. So this right here is my black heart choker. It's come with the button ups and everything. I love this thing. I, I love this choker so much. This is the one choker you guys are going to see me wearing in my videos all the time. Always. I, I love this choker. It is really, really comfortable. It's really natural. It's like it goes between the line of natural and unnatural. I, I love this choker. I don't even know why I'm getting excited over this. It's just a choker. But I have worn this a lot. You can see the color kind of you can kind of see right here the metal, the color coming off. It's kind of wearing down because I wear this thing a lot and I love it. And it's very, very easy to clean too. A lot of chokers are very easy to clean, but this one, I just love it. I don't know. I just love it. So I actually got this choker about, I think about a year or two ago as a Christmas gift because it actually came with the bundle pack. I love this thing a lot. It's very comfortable. It feels very good and it actually does fit me very well and it doesn't even move around and shift it actually does stay in place I wear this choker all the time this choker goes with any outfit it is comfortable it is very very lightweight I love this so much I, I want to get like multiple different designs based on the person who made this I want to get like multiple designs from them because this choker is comfortable and I want to see if there are any other types that are also similar to this that I could wear. This choker can go with almost any outfit and I do appreciate that. I'm still gonna wear this during my outro. I do love this choker. I hope you guys do too. So yeah, that was my choker collection video. It was really, really short. I'm sorry, I don't have that many chokers. I guess when you guys were clicking on this video, you guys thought, oh, I have like 50 chokers. No, I only have like I only have eight, but I will get more later on down the road and I'll do an update on this. I did enjoy making this video. I hope you guys did enjoy watching it. I hope you guys do like the red atmosphere that I gave off in my room because I'm trying to 
I'm going through something right now. I don't know what. I just thought, hey, maybe you guys will like this red atmosphere. I mean, I'm kind of getting annoyed with it right now. I want to wrap up this video soon so I can get out of here and change the color back. Hope you guys did enjoy this video overall, and I hope you guys check back with me. Like I said at the beginning, I will try to put a link in each description for these chokers so you can see them for yourself and decide which one you want. Like I said before, if you guys did enjoy this, thank you. And... I will see you soon. Goodbye.